Hi everyone, Eddie is here and today's video is about the Orica NFT marketplace. I have talked a few weeks ago that I am looking into NFT and gaming because they're just too hot for me to pass. Uh, the revenues, the, the, you know, the crazy prices, uh, the crazy revenues are just too hard for me to ignore. I know I'm not into art, I'm not into gaming, but I've been teaching myself for the past few weeks and I want to share some knowledge and some of the insights that I have. So we'll be covering, uh, we'll start with what is NFT, how is it different than cryptocurrency, uh, what is the uses of NFTs, then we'll jump in into the Aurica NFT marketplace project. We're going to talk about the economics, the founders, um, the pre-sale that they have. This is an excellent opportunity to jump on this because it's up to you to decide once you we connect the dots together, then you decide whether it's a good investment from your side or not. So let's begin with the NFTs. So what is an NFT? An NFT is a digital asset that represents real world objects like art, music, in-game items and videos. They are bought and sold online frequently with cryptocurrency and they are generally encoded with the same underlying software as many cryptos. Now, I know this might not make sense for a lot of people. I'll explain things later on once we're done. So NFTs are also generally one of a kind, or at least one of a very limited run and have unique identifi identifying codes. Essentially, NFTs create digital scarcity, says Ari Yu, chair of the Washington Technology Industry Association and managing director of Yellow Umbrella Ventures. This stands in dark contrast to most digital creations, which are almost always infinite in supply. Hypothetically, cutting off the supply should raise the value of a given asset, assuming it's in demand. So if you have an art, basically it's a non-fungible token. Now the non-fungible token that you created, you can sell it and you give the keys for this art to whoever the buyer is. So he could sell it in the future. It's just a transformation of real art into digital art. That's basically what they're saying. NFT difference from cryptocurrency. NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's generally built using the same kind of programming as cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but that's where the similarity ends. NFTs are different. Each has a digital signature that makes it impossible for NFTs to be exchanged for or equal to one another. Hence, hence non-fungible. So how does the NFT work? NFT exists on a blockchain, which is distributed uh, public ledger that records, uh, records transactions. You're probably most familiar with blockchain as the underlying process that makes cryptocurrencies possible. Specifically, NFTs are typically held on Ethereum blockchain. And this is important to understand when we talk about uh, Orica. Although the other blockchains support them as well, an NFT is created or minted from digital objects that uh, represent both tangible and intangible items, including art, GIFs, videos, collectibles, designer sneakers, music, even tweets count. Essentially, NFTs are like physical collector's items, only digital. So instead of getting an actual oil painting to hang on the wall, the buyer gets a digital file instead. So what are NFTs used for? Blockchain technology and NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. For example, artists no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Instead, the artist can sell it directly to the consumer as an NFT which also lets them keep more of their profits. In addition, artists can program in royalties so they'll receive a percentage of sales whenever their art is sold to a new owner. This is an attractive future as artists generally do not receive future proceeds after their art is first sold. That means if you sell one and you, if you sell it for $10,000 and you put your royalties and this buyer sells it after a year for $1 million, and you say, I want 10%, you get to keep 10% of the $1 million. The guy that sells it for $10 million, you still get a 10% of future sales. So that's basically it. So how to buy NFTs? If you're keen to start your own NFT collection, you'll need to acquire some key items. First, you'll need to get a digital wallet that allows you to store NFTs and cryptocurrencies. You'll likely need to purchase some cryptocurrency like Ether, depending on what currencies your NFT provider accepts. 
You can buy crypto using a credit card on platforms like Coinbase, Kraken, eToro. You'll then be able to move it from exchange to your wallet of your choice. You'll want to keep uh, fees in mind as you research options. Also, remember this, fees, because you're using mostly Ethereum. Most exchanges charge at least a percentage of your transaction when you buy crypto. So now we kind of have an overall idea of what's going on with NFTs. So why NFT market is important now and NFT niche overall? It's because of the endless possibilities and the collector's uh, hyper uh, market. So if we go to the birth of NFTs, which explains later, the possibility of creating and storing the identity of a piece of art while maintaining its original identity using the blockchain motivated the creation of first non-fungible token. In 2017, Larva Lab minted the limited 10,000 pieces of CryptoPunks. And if you have not heard of this, this will just make your head go cuckoo. Now, these are JPEG created on the Ethereum blockchain. I know they don't look attractive, but we're talking about the most expensive NFT art as of, of, as of today. Now, these are selling. I think today's market is the minimum around 200,000 and the most expensive one of each of these are about 90 and a half million dollars. Nine. 0.5 million dollars um the scarcity and all that stuff you know that's like that's the, all the good stuff now what's keeping the market going crazy in the crypto as of today it's the nfts and gaming there are so much money pumping into the crypto world because of these two niches and now the the market cannot ignore this hot to uh, these two hot markets, which is gaming and NFTs, is just unstoppable. There, therefore, I am exploring this and I'm, I'm introducing this to you because if you just do more research, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So let's talk about uh, the white paper inside Orica, which is I'm right here inside it. Now, the marketplace or the transaction that goes inside the NFT world has some limitations and this is the Orica white paper. Before we talk about it, what is Orica? And this is a very straightforward, like two sentence, but they will make a lot of sense later on. Just listen to me and then we'll connect the dots later. So what is Orica? Orica is an NFT marketplace for everyone. We aim at making NFT accessible for the mainstream market. No crypto knowledge needed, just a passion for art and the heart of collector. Okay, this is important. You will understand later on what I'm talking about. So if we come back here. So ARC is an NFT marketplace designed to address all of the aforementioned concerns of the artists. As artists ourselves, the Arica team is on a mission to help other artists explore the opportunities that abound in the emerging NFT space. Unlike most NFT marketplaces, Orca is a marketplace built by emp empathic and innovative artists who believe in the future of NFTs. For other artists looking to explore the opportunities NFT present for artists, to do this, Orca has the lowest minting fees in the space, a zero fee minting option, and uses a proof of art verification standard to protect collectors from fraud. Also, Orca is the NFT market that offers an initial offering for NFTs, INOs, this will, this will allow creators in the space access to funding for capital-intensive NFT projects. Other great features, Orica, are free promotions for artists, com uh, competitions, redeemable NFTs, multi-blockchains, and trades using a network bridge and growing a list of new features. Final Orica has its uh, native token Orca with a limited supply of 100 million and a deflationary plan through buybacks and token burns. Now, Simple English. It's a marketplace. Orca is a marketplace. And most likely, if they go on the roadmap and things work out for them, you're going to see it as like Christie's house. It's just... So, why use Orca? Orca offers the lowest minting fees in the market. Because they're built on the Binance blockchain. 
Orca is the NFT platform that allows you to pay the minting fee that is NFT creation fee after selling your NFT. So no need for prior investment from the seller's perspective. Or Orca is the NFT marketplace that offers the option of an initial NFT offering to its publishing community. Orca incentivizes great art by way of votes by the community and rewarding the winners. That's why you need to use Orca. Think about it if you are living in a country, a poor country, and you live in a village. You don't have access to bigger cities where you know the cash flow is higher and the purchase power is stronger you are definitely an artist and you have and you create beautiful art that you spend hours or maybe days or years just creating that art now going or trying to sell it in that city you will not be able to get what you should deserve not because your art is not worth it it's because the community you're living in doesn't have the cash flow or they lack uh, interest in art therefore you will not be able to get what you really deserve now if you think this in a bigger scale also there are people that don't have access to computers they don't have access to programming they don't have access they don't know what crypto is all about so I know some countries um, back in Africa or Middle East or whatever they even haven't heard of crypto they know what it is they heard about it but they don't know how it works so what Orica is trying to do is uh, connect you know the collectors and the artist and the artists that they, they don't have the cash the artists they don't have the technology they don't have the know-how they don't they don't know any of this stuff they will cover it even if you don't have the cash to uh, create your art you know in a digital uh, or build it on a blockchain they will cover that for you because once you sell and you don't have that money to create it once you sell they will take their cut and they will give you back the money so these are some of the limitations the limitations are huge now also the skills of computer skills um you know social media skills it's all up to orca to help you out to uh, get the exposure so for example mm -hmm. they will try to bring the collectors and the artist into this marketplace and becomes like an auction house the problems with art and sales how we got into nfts and these are oricas before nfts and virtual representation of arts all art forms had their markets existing within close-knit communities of creators collectors fans and enthusiasts to make the type of sale worthy of their work exhibitions auctions record deals promotions and movie are very complex and expensive sale process was required this is why a piece of the same painting in a local store will not sell at the same price in an international art exhibition or auction with the right collectors a perfect case will be van gogh paintings being auctioned for millions of dollars long after the original painter died poor the challenges of the artist this barrier to entry is mostly because various art genres operate somewhat like cults to get a chance as an artist you had to 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 network with the certain cliques of exhibitors promoters record labels Auction houses, publishing houses, films, studios uh, dominated the market uh, you operated within. The implication of this bottleneck market operation meant that artists had to be more than great artists to get a good show for their work, which came at no small cost paid to these sales intermediaries. So this one limitation, the challenge of the collectors. The collectors, the rigors of tracking down stories of various collections, hunting down a celebrity of autographs, hoping to find the right antique in their next trip to a local antique store is difficult and expensive sometimes to be efficient the collectors rely on a paid network in the search networks that come at no small cost as well so the musicians are not left so they're basically saying we're gonna bring the collectors and we're gonna help the artist to overcome any limitations so if you don't have the you know uh, blockchain technology if you don't have the money you don't have anything you can't afford these houses we will bring you in we'll cover your back and we're going to bring all these collectors to look at this you know amazing work of art from people that do not have the exposure 
either in, in terms of social media or in online or even offline. So this will help them to connect the buyers and the sellers, which is excellent. So the purpose of Orica, one, is wipe out any obstacles and limitations that artists might face to enter the NFT world. Second, give the collectors the peace of mind and introduce exclusive art that cannot be found somewhere else at an affordable prices. And we're going to give one example that we have seen, which is CryptoPunk. Let's look at it. And a good example of you know how social media like you know crypto punks on twitter uh he worked hard on them to promote them and if you are willing to pay 90 million and a half on one of these i don't know which one i think it was this one and the rest are selling for seven million five million one million then you kind of understand it's uh the exposure is a big player in this game the token description, token name is Orica, ticker symbol is ORI. Uh, the token supply plan is 100 million um, of ORI. The initial cap is 3 million and 125,000. The initial circulating supply, supply is 1.5 million. Initial market cap is 300,000. Fully diluted market cap is 15 million. Now what's good here, the seed sale was sold for 10 cents. Uh, 5 million, so 500,000 all locked up. They will be distributed one month after the seed sale in equal installments across one year. And we'll talk about this later, how they're trying to protect uh, their, their, their project. Uh, the pre-sale, is, which I'm right now, is a 0 0.12.5 cents, 15 million, and expected value is 1,807,000. 10% will be locked, and 90% 90 will be locked and distributed at 15% every month over six months. Now there's another solution for this. If you're willing to stake it, we'll talk about it later, but you can get it all right away. Initial NFT offering, not right away, just like a few hours or days. Initial NFT offering will be at 15 cents, 5 million and 750,000. So this is basically it. There's nothing complicated right here, but what we need to talk about next is the founders. So I like the team, The they, they all have their own LinkedIn, uh, the legal counsels, blockchain operations, business development, lead software engineer, IT project manager, content creator, digital art, uh, art specialist, operations managers, Mali, and product owner. Now, you can check them all on um, LinkedIn. I have ch uh, I checked on Sani um, Matuvu. Uh, he is Persian um, origins. And he lives, I think, in Germany. And if I'm not mistaken, he was raised in Belgium. And he likes to work in Africa in charity um, uh, projects. Now, I kind of like this idea because the access to Africa and access to uh, third world countries where there are some great artists that they do not have the exposure uh, to, you know, the right collectors that will compensate them and give them the right value for their art. This is an excellent advantage and the diversity of this team and the you know the advisors is quite impressive so i like it everything is well set here so next we'll talk about the roadmap so this is quarter two now quarter three pre-sale advisor partnerships listing on banking swap the token generation event initial nft offerings inos on orica release of better version commencement of artist competition, listing of redeemable NFTs, art competition, launch of NFT virtual gallery. This is all happening right now. So uh, the acceleration of quarter four, the release of mainnet version marketplace, exclusive um, platform launch, commencement of exclusive INOs, listing of multi-blockchain NFTs, NFT ticketing integration, mobile app release. So um, in Orica, uh, they're trying to solve many limitations which we already covered but what we're gonna say look here afterwards in the pre-sale that these guys are incredibly worried about this project they want it to be successful and their their worries about whales and their worries about uh pump and dump is huge which gives you an indicator of how solid uh they are 
in, in believing in this project, which is very interesting. And it just got caught my attention. And if we go to the home page, so uh, if you come to uh, YouTube, you can check out here that their, their channel is Orica. It only has 832 subscribers. Now, these are one of the founders and this is part of the team. And they're talking and, you know, they're trying to promote uh, the project. Now, what's interesting also to uh, bear in mind that if you follow them on Twitter, maybe on Telegram and Discord, they have a big following. But on Twitter and, and, uh, and YouTube, they're still growing. Now, why do I like this? Because they could have, you know, bought some bots and increased this number by 10x or 20x. But they, they're not looking into hyping this project. They want to go slow. They want to go safe and they want to be secured. And I'll just prove it to you in one second um, why, why they're doing this. If you go to their pre-sale, and guys, this is important, right? I'll explain to you exactly what's happening here. So the first seat sale is locked up, all locked up at 10 cents. 5 million were locked up. Now, what they're doing here, the second pre-sale at 12.5 cents, what they're doing here, they want to secure, and I, I understand their, their perspective, and I'll explain it to you in a second. So they're saying, we'll pay you 10%. So if you get 1,000 ORIs, we'll give you 10%, right? And the rest of the 90% will be given to you over the uh, period of six months. So each month, you'll get 15% to your wallet. And why is this important? It's because of the pump and dump and all that craziness that comes with it. Now, to solve this, I was I just read today on the Telegram channel that, okay, fine. Now, there's a, there's a lot of questions. Why are we getting this? People that invested and they did not read this. They're like, oh, so why are we not getting all our tokens? They solved it immediately. It was less than, I think, a few hours. They said, fine, we'll give it to you. If you're willing to stake it for six months, we'll give it. We'll give you 100% right now. If you're willing to stake it on the bank cake swap locked for six months, and you get excellent rewards. So this is this just you have to understand. If you are want to start this business and you want to launch this project and you want to focus on getting the artists, getting the collectors, building the blockchain, following the roadmap. The last thing you need to do is worrying about what the whales is going to do with your project because they have billions of dollars. They can just pump and dump and you'll be nothing. And they're trying to protect it. It's very simple. I, I don't want you guys to think about this as why they're doing this. No, they're, they want to focus on their project and they don't want to waste their energy on... What's whether what when is a whale coming? When is the scammers are coming? They just want to focus on building this because if you are starting a niche with this new NFT marketplace, it's a new niche. Anybody can like look at this and they say, Oh, it's a good idea, let's do this. Now, to be smart is to be ahead of the game. It's all about the uh, you know marketing, it's all about uh, lobbying, you know, your your um getting the real good artists, getting the, you know, nice, good collectors that they appreciate this kind of art. This is what you should waste your energy on. Now, if they're going to waste their time on how to stop these, you know, um, whales and the pump and dump, it's not going to happen. They're going to just be wasting their energy. So they're saying, hey, you want your 100%, we'll give you the 100% if you're willing to stake it for, lock it for six months. This way, we don't have to worry about what's going on with our cryptos or our investors. It's locked. We don't have to worry. It is good. And this brings a lot of confidence into this project. If they were scammers or they're willing to pull the rug, they want to pull the rug from the first week. Why wait six months till things go uh, you know, offline? I'll just pull the rug uh, like Twin Moon. It was launched one week ago and they pulled the rug in five days. So, guys, um, this is a good sign that I like. So, it's, it's, it's how to protect your project and how to, it will protect your investment, after all. And this will 
highly impact on the price of the ORI because once you stake it, they're willing to give, I think, about 50% of whatever ORIs you have. Well, you'll be given, I think, around 50%. Don't quote me on this. I've read everything I've lost where, where all the, this information. I've read the Discord. I've read the, the Telegram. And all I can tell you is this is a good project. This is obviously not a financial or investment advice. Things can flip overnight. Uh, there's no project in the world is guaranteed. But I'm, I have invested in it because... I, I like the way they're protecting their, their, their project. And I know they're being over-conservative, over-protective, but this way they can focus on building the project and kind of go straight up and not let anybody jump into this unless it's too late. So Orica is the leader when it comes to, um, you know, kind of, bring those artists from Africa, from poor countries, from Asia, even Europe, even the U.S. and Canada and South America. Doesn't mean that you're in Europe or in the U.S., even if you're rich. Doesn't mean you have the skills. It doesn't mean that you know how to program. You don't know how to, the business model, how to, how, how to evaluate your assets the right way. You're not a businessman. You don't have, you don't know how much your art is worth. So it doesn't really matter, but for Africa and Europe and Asia and poor countries, they lack a lot more stuff. So they, they lack the technology, they lack the exposure, they lack equipments, they lack a lot more stuff than people living in the US or, or Europe or even South America. So, but that does not mean there's no art there. On the contrary, there's beautiful art in Africa, beautiful art in Asia, beautiful art in every single country. It's all about the exposure. So guys, um, if you guys still have more questions, I'd love to answer them because I have dug in this for about two days or three days. And um, the more I dig, to be honest, I'm the more I love and uh, I, I cannot just emphasize how happy that I found this uh, for too many reasons. The number one reason is I wanted to jump into the NFT and gaming this these are two niches that you should focus on you should do more research on so when i did that i landed on this and i don't i don't i don't think there is a more premature at a pre-sale project uh other than this one there's another project which is called perry bus it's on the cardano platform that will be launched it's totally different. It, is, it has nothing to do with this, but it's, it's about staking your uh, art, which is still another interesting kind of um, project that I'll be investing in. But this one, they can become big because if you stake your tokens for a long time and I, the, the whole tokenomics where, um, for example, artists, from Africa, they don't have a crypto, they can't have access to wallet. They can be paid by fiat. So that's one of the benefits in Orica. They have touched on small elements that people from these countries that they don't have the technology, they don't have the wallets, they don't have cryptos, they don't have any of that stuff, they have solved it. So if you want to be paid in fiat at whatever currency, you will get paid in fiat. So that's just only one side of it. And this project is still fairly fairly young so if you guys want to jump on it i i'm jumping on it because i love it and i hope you guys see how powerful nft in general and i'll leave the link for the white paper maybe you can take a look at it maybe i jumped more than once uh, on some more uh interesting limitations that i believe i forgot to mention but I'm more than happy to answer any comments you guys have. Uh, I'll also leave the link for their Discord and Telegram, which I highly recommend you do that with any project you want to invest in. Because once you go in there, you kind of get kind of that feeling. Is it a positive environment? Is it, you know, uh, is it a welcoming environment? Is it a friendly environment? Are these, um, you know, are the stakeholders are there? The, you know, the founders are there. How do they talk? How do they respect you? It's really important. 
these are just kind of little sensors that makes you comfortable or uncomfortable with any project, not just this project. So guys, I hope that uh, I covered this in a proper way. I've, uh, I have recorded this multiple times, so I cannot rem remember what did I recover or what did I not cover. But if you guys still have any questions, please um, comment and I'll be more than happy to answer. And again, if you guys like this content, I will be covering more NFTs, more gaming, more cryptos and i don't cover the the bs ones i just covered things that i believe in and i will invest in and that's why i'm just sharing because i love them again this is not an affiliate project i wasn't paid for this i have nothing to do with this project i just talked once on the you know um on the telegram i believe or the discord i had some questions and they just answered my questions and that's about it anyways guys uh we'll review this project maybe in three months six months one year we'll see how it will be but i believe that it can achieve a lot not just for the artist not just for the community but for all these um you know artists that lack some limitations that orica will help them to get the exposure guys this is amazing i just love it anyways Hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and turn on the notifications bells just for any new stuff coming from my side. Love you guys and we'll see you on the next video.